Happy Monday, Business 330 students. This is Professor Hassey speaking to you live and in color in his Tommy Bahama shirt from Claremont, California. This is week six, July 12th through 18th introduction video leading to a class lecture video this Wednesday, July 14th. This uh, week six, we're gonna be completing and discussing our capital budget analysis, chapters eight, nine, 10, and 11. I have a worksheet, uh, a spreadsheet posted with this uh, introduction video that I'd like you to review in preparation for my lecture video uh, this week. Also, uh, we'll be discussing and reviewing assignment number two, which uh, was due uh, last evening, July 11th, and we'll be talking more details about capital budget. In regards to capital budgeting, here is that spreadsheet I was mentioning. It talks about the steps, uh, the capital budgeting process, which we're going to review in class lecture this week. What, how much are we investing in the asset? Remember what we're doing here is we're trying to determine the strategy behind investing in an asset that's going to produce a return, net income, cash flow over its depreciable life. And is that return enough to satisfy the needs that we require to satisfy our investors? How do we determine our satisfying our investors? The cost of capital, which is discussed next week in chapters 12 and 13. Also, we, the final step, uh, which uh, we will not be covering in this class, but is discussed in the chapter is risk analysis, scenario and sensitivity. That's uh, reserved for graduate school and we won't be discussing that here. Uh, here in the same file that I'll be posting with this video, there is a review of our work that we did last week. Here's that problem in chapter eight that talked about the four methods of calculating a return on investment, very important. Here's that problem in chapter nine where we determined the cash flow, how to come up with the cash flow and the definition of discounted cash flow to determine these four methods. We'll be reviewing that also. And here is a case we'll be doing in our lecture this week. We'll be doing an actual capital budgeting case. We're providing, determining the cash flow based on these uh, inputs that are part of this problem, then determining the return on investment and overall summing up the nature of this capital investment. This is what you're gonna be doing in your capital budgeting case, which is distributed this week. As you look at your syllabus, the week of July 12th and 18th, we'll be posting our case paper and that'll be posted along with our lecture video on Wednesday and I'll be reviewing that case paper in our lecture this week. And we'll be talking about this project over the next few weeks leading up to its due date, the last week of class, August 8th. So that's our big project that we're going to be doing. This is a capital budgeting analysis paper, APA format and spreadsheet interpretations. And again, we'll get into the details about that uh, later on this week. So this is the file that I'd like you to download and perhaps review. And this will be the central point of my lecture this week. In our week number six, uh, file folder this week in Blackboard is another video that, that is uh, very uh, short but sweet about explaining the capital budgeting process. This video is also located in our YouTube site. And then a brief explanation of what we're being responsible for now. The definition, last week we had a definition in week five of capital budgeting process. This week, uh, week six, what is weighted average? What is the cost of capital? What does it cost us to get the money to invest in these projects? So please take a look at these and review them. And we'll part talk all about this in our next lecture video and also in next week's lecture video. So that's where we stand heading into the second half now of Business 330. We're now in the, the second half of our course. Again, please take note of your grades as they're posted in Grade Center. Some of you have, uh, again, some holes that need to be filled in your grading. If you have any questions or concerns, be free to feel free to contact me. Don't wait till the last week of class to get these things settled. 
This is the time to get your grades and understand what you have so far in this class. As soon as I get all case assignment number two work posted this week, I will post those grades as well. So make sure you know your status in this class heading into the second half of our class. Thanks everybody, have a great week. I'll see you in our lecture video this week and be well. Adios.